kind of tagged in a little early today, just like a minute early, but still getting set up over here. Hi everyone, I see there's a bunch of you guys already on here. And actually I saw a few comments about the time difference. Um, sorry if some of you are here a little later than normal. I keep forgetting that actually, so in Hawaii we don't, I was gonna say celebrate, it's not celebrate, but we don't observe um, the time difference. So, um, but I know now we spring forward. So for some of us, it's just one hour later. But don't worry if uh, for some reason you're on here now and you can't make it, uh, this is gonna go live in a little bit. Um, I'm sorry, it's gonna be on our account right after we're done, so. No worries about that. Hi, don't mind the nails. This is the real real today. Um, I actually have my natural nails. I did paint um, and I'll kind of talk about that in a little bit, but I just wanted to say hi everyone and let's just kind of jump right into today because I am hella nervous. Um, so, hey everyone, it's Tiana from the Maniology team here with our weekly live every Tuesday at 1.30 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time. You can find us here on another nail stamping journey, whether it's a tutorial, technique, or hack. We're here to discuss the details, and we're so happy you could join. And like I said, I am hella nervous about today because, as you can see from the title and also the thumbnail, can Tiana do reverse double stamping? Is it going to happen today? We will see. So um, if you're just joining in, hello, hello, hello. Hi, everyone. Everyone say hi to Dev. Um, she'll be on here with us. And um, yeah, so Dev created history last week um, on our Maniology Live. And she managed to do a, we call it a reverse double process stamping. And um it was like a suggestion from some in the chat and she tried it and it worked and you know dev and her nail capabilities uh she likes not likes she just has a tendency to do maybe some of the more difficult type of nail art because also her background as well whereas for me i'm a diyer so i mean if i experiment with things it's because I just kind of go with the flow. If it happens, it's a happy little accident kind of thing. Um, and I just kind of learn as I go. And I think that kind of applies to maybe many of you. I don't know how many of you are nail techs or have kind of like a nail background. For me, I'm just someone who just loves nail art. I actually happen to stumble into this particular line of work and it works for me as far as the creativity part is concerned. So today, in today's live, we're gonna see if I can achieve the reverse double process stamping. And I'll kind of walk through the process about what you know my process is. I hopefully I can show you some something that resembles um, something that's successful. And I won't even lie, okay, so my brain, it operates very, very differently from devs. Um, I can do impromptu, but I prefer to be like prompted somehow or kind of like map things out. I know you guys have called me on my Virgoisms. Um, that is like, yeah, I, I'm a total Virgo when it comes to that. Organize before like prepping and all that kind of stuff is, is totally my, my jam. Um, but I'll be completely honest, today I am going in blind. So I got plates. And I got polishes and I got tips. So today we're just gonna see if this all works out. Okay, so let's just jump in. Before we get started and stuff, if you're digging any of our live streams and enjoy being a part of the vibes here, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. Um, you know, we're all about creativity and like really fun conversations, stamping realness and all that kind of good stuff. So if you love our awesome nail art, you love the content, please don't miss out and subscribe. Let's hang out every Tuesday because that's when we go live for our um, Maniology Lives. 
Okay, so before I go on, don't worry about the two-tone colors and stuff. It's just kind of a rarity that I actually have my natural nails out to say hello. Um, this is not going to be for very long. I'm going to put the kitty claws on um, again soon. My nails are just too brittle. It's, uh, yeah. But I know we have so many questions all the time. Why don't you stamp on regular nails? Oh, sorry. I don't know why I went into that voice. I don't know why I went into that voice. Just scratch that voice. Um, but, you know, a lot of times, I mean, I think the answer is pretty much the same. For one, we only have, are these called phalanges? Fingers? Yeah. We only have 10 of them. You know, we are a creative team here. We have tips. We have other means to show you these techniques. I don't necessarily think the process is uh, different with different with stamping on the nail as opposed to stamping on a tip. Yes, perhaps, you know, we have more maneuver and stuff like that, but the technique is still the same. But for some of you who keep asking about stamping on natural nails, uh, you might be in for a treat. So maybe I can do some stamping on my hands so you guys can actually see, and maybe I can link them into this sp specific video so they can actually see that stamping can be done on actual hands, right? So, yeah. I know, um, let's see. Hi, everyone. Hi, Grandma Mimsy. Grandma Mimsy says, Miss T, biotin might help. Definitely. Um, again, like I said, I'm a DIYer. So I, I know part of this is, is using like the tips and actually having really poor um, takeoff. That is definitely one of my things, but uh, it kind of just adds strength to when I put the upright. I just hate taking them off and putting on new sets. So this is me, my lazy phase. Don't judge. We're here to show, show love. But um, yeah, I, we'll see if I can, you know, the benefit is actually all of yours. So if I am able to do a little bit of stamping on my actual nail. Okay, let's see. Sorry, I saw a comment. Hi, Marie. I had an appointment today. Um, oh, okay. I think that was like a comment for someone else. Um, hello, everyone. The happy Christine. Hi, hi. <laughs> okay. So, like I said, I have um, some plates. I, I did manage to look through them, and I do have some comments to say. Um, when you're going to do the reverse stamping, I mean this double process stamping in general, you definitely want to show um, or have images or plates that have bigger etched areas, you probably will not be using, you know, like these, the top two rows here, but you will be using, you know, something like this to have like a deeper French, for example. Um, I also managed to find another favorite plate of mine. Um, I've used this a lot, I remember last year. So M332. And also, if any of you are wondering, because, you know, we do such a good job at linking and um, tagging the products that we use in the videos. I will be doing that after, because like I said, I'm actually going into this kind of blind today. Not my normal, but we're gonna run with it and see, and uh, just see how I do. So there's a few images here that are heavily etched that would make you know for some cute designs, depending on what you wanna put inside. I will be probably, um, I have, some of the plates that I've used last week, um, like this one with the, the beautiful cow print. So I'm consider using that, um, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. So now I'm talking about the behind image because when you're doing the double, the reverse double process stamping or just double process stamping in general, you have to think of it in layers of going backwards. You know, So what you will see at the top, you kind of have to deconstruct, deconstruct it and work backwards. So, I have here the other and classic French plate, um, M052. This image can definitely be used. Any of like the bigger, uh, wider etched areas would be really good for uh, picking up the double process stamping or any of these images. And one of my favorite plates is this, 
M285. You have a lot of designs here. I wanted to try actually with um, this, this section. Okay, so that's like for your background. Okay, now, oh, and here's the, um, the plate that Dev used last week. So again, if I'm gonna try it, I figure maybe I'll have a few plates that she used and you know just see if I can go ahead and achieve the reverse double processing kind of like how she did. I feel like such a noob. And you know what, Dev is right too, because I remember her saying last week that, um, you know, for she and I, we've been in the industry or just doing this line of work for so long that it's really hard to come up with uh, or find or discover new, brand new techniques that haven't been done before. So seeing her do that was extremely exciting. Um, I wish that, you know, I was kind of like with her and stuff, but you know, we all celebrated together. So that's really cool. So for the top part, now you're thinking of the layer that goes on top of your background. Any of these heavily uh, etched areas, that's going to be like your background. Now when you do the double process stamping, you want to find images that are really tightly packed together. I think this plate would be really good. This is the Kelly Marissa um, collaborative plate that we've had. I think actually this plate is probably going to be um, on clearance if it hasn't already. Some of these may have. Um, I'm not sure. I just kind of picked and pick and choose and I was actually feeling kind of like festival-y. I think we're coming into festival season too. So um, sorry, I was re just reading a comment. Um, oh. Sorry, I'm seeing a lot of medical conversations, so I'm like, oh, what's going on here? Um, so anyway, this was a plate that Dove used last week. This was M391, and she used some really tightly packed designs um, to pick up as like the design on top. Um, so this, again, really fun, cute plate to use. I also have this design that I really, I really love this plate actually. I think this plate has been discontinued. Maybe some of you hardcore fans of Maniology or even Bundle Monster might actually have this plate. I love this plate. We should bring it back. In, in, wink, wink. Um, so this particular design is really nice and uh, tight. And it actually, I would like to see if that works with a French tip look um some designs that here's this anise plate too there's some designs that i want to see if it works this one looks like it's tightly packed but you know somewhat separate so just right now i'm actually talking about double process stamping for those who haven't even tried double process stamping now I'm gonna walk through the process of that and just kind of show what that looks like. So just in case you didn't catch last week's uh, video with Dev, and definitely go take a look at it because again, it was history in the making, which is, it's such a rare, um, a rare time for us to kind of discover if a technique works out. So I'm gonna show you some designs that may not necessarily work in the double process stamping uh, sphere. Probably like singular designs or designs that are not going to be made to fit like your particular space. And or what did Devin say last week? It was kind of like if your picture is kind of leaving it, leaving up to the imagination, it doesn't really fully come out. Um, that's why for me, I think if you're starting out, um, if you just want to kind of help discover um, Again, there's no like right or wrong way. You can go ahead and test any of these concepts out on your own. You know, we're not saying that there is like a, a set way to do this, but even some parts like this, like there would be a lot of parts that are missing. Actually, let's, let's sample that out. Let's see. I think this would be a really good concept. This one, I think it'll look cute, but I think you're gonna be missing a lot of parts. It may not even show that they're constellations, but Let's just try it and see how that works out. I 
And honestly, I think it kind of depends on what the design is going to be too. Let me try and use this. So just the double process stamping or double stamping. We're going to think backwards and I'm having a brain fart right now. So I just want to make sure that I'm thinking of this in a way that makes sense to me. Okay, so we're gonna pick up, I said that design. Let's go ahead and do straight up black. Let's see if I come in a little tighter. What happens when you don't, you're not prepared. <laughs> okay. Okay, we don't have to spend too much time on that, but now I'm picking up that design. And now let's go in here. Let's do I have a uh, blue bell. And let's see how this works. Actually, I'm gonna do it this way. Okay. See, so I think um, it was necessary to actually turn the design around that on kind of broke apart all because I was trying to avoid getting those little bits onto I didn't want them on the design it's okay but there you you can kind of see what that looks like so I think for the most part I mean looking at it you can kind of see that it's it is stars constellations but i don't know depending on where you're stamping it it may not actually translate very well but i mean i don't think it looks horrible but the idea i had specifically for this was to maybe do like uh add in another design over there so let's see hmm. We're going to be doing a lot of plate cleaning today. So I need my cotton cleaner, cotton grabber here. Okay, and let's see if we can pick up design again. Make this design a little interesting. So let's go again. Pick it up with black. So if you're wondering why I decided instead of going up and down, I decided to kind of change up the design and you use it sideways, it's because it fit into that particular shape a little bit better. So let's use I got rosebud here. And let's pick up that design up here. Okay, with designs like this, you want your card to be almost as flat as possible so you're not scraping out any of the designs. and take off, isolate these bits or else they're gonna come off on my design. So take some scotch tape and do that. And let's hurry up. Hmm, that looks kinda cute. So 
So there. I think today it's not necessarily about like the designs and stuff. I mean, if you like it, that's an extra bonus. But today is just about the technique and just seeing if I can do it. So yeah, that design worked. Okay, so let's test this out with another design. So I actually said I want to try this, right? So let's sample that with another design. And hmm. I'm trying to see. Okay, what the hey? Let's do a French. Okay. I'll do white this time. So I'm using our Baum White. I like the stars in this little pattern here. Okay, perfect pickup. Let's clean some of that off. Okay, so now we're gonna find a French. I got frosty air here. Okay. I want to try and do like a, a deeper kind of curve. So I'm going to pick this one up. And also I'm going big because I want to catch majority of the design. So. This, I feel like you have to be super, super precise. Oh, let's see. Oh, that kind of left <laughs> that there. Let's try that again. I saw a question come in. Let me see if I can catch that before I move on. There was, let's see, Tiana, I have a question. Is it massage therapy, something they do in your culture, in the Asian culture for medicine? Um, that's a really good question. I'm a mixed bag over here. Um, I think what I identify with is it's a lot of different, you know, cultures and stuff. I am Asian, so... Um, but I actually probably wanted to speak on maybe something closer to like Hawaiian culture and stuff, um, which I am native Hawaiian. And, um, you know, here it's, it's lomi lomi. That's like a, a form of um, massage that native Hawaiian practitioners and stuff will practice on top of like other, you know, um, as massage methods. So... Yeah, it's definitely to, it does have a form of like medicinal purposes and stuff. Um, oh my gosh, I see it. I would love a behind the scenes look at y'all's set up workstations. That's so cute to ask. Um, the reason why, if I'm being completely honest, um, if I take my camera and I show you what the workstation looks like, you're going to be like, what? Um, I mean, it is the real real, which is completely fine, but we're a small business over here. And, you know, because we only focus on fingers, it's not necessary to like see the whole lay of the land of what, you know, it looks like here, but Hey, I'll show you in general, you know, on top of the plates and stuff, actually I'll come out a little more. Outside of the area in which you guys see, you know, we have like our background and that's my, I, yeah, I like to doodle and draw on things, but this is pretty much the workstation. I mean, th this is the part that you guys don't see that I have to work, you know, me and Dev are working within like such a small window of space, but th this is it. Don't worry. It's not anything like fancy, fancy. We're not trying to, I think this probably looks like, every person's average home. What do you guys think? 
I mean, I know my my workspace gets pretty pretty messy. Um, and, you know, we, we try our best to, to clean it up after. I, I won't lie. There are definitely times when I've neglected. Um, being completely honest, even after doing the maniology live for, oh my gosh, probably what feels like four years. Can you believe that, Devin? We've been doing this for like four years. Um, I still get nervous, you know what I mean? Because we have, we have our hardcore fans, but we also have new people coming on. And, you know, it's just like, there's so much to talk about. We want to show you the best, but honestly, sometimes it's just not the right moment. So, you know, it anything could go wrong. Most times it's funny and graceful, um, but sometimes it gets kind of frustrating. Anyway, leading up to my lives and after, yo, I need to take like a breather. Um, so I'm usually like tapped out after the lives, if you ask me. I don't know about Dev. Maybe she can kind of explain how she feels and stuff like that after. But yeah, it's like I just want to, you know, try my best and, you know, put on a really good video that you guys will find helpful, that you guys will find funny. And, you know, but it is kind of like putting yourself out there. And... um you know, I think in the world that we live in, sometimes people are not nice and, you know, you kind of take that risk. But uh, you guys have, if, if any of you guys are joining for the first time and you're wondering what is maniology, what is it like to be a part of the maniology community, stick around for the lives. Um, hands down, it's a really, really nice community to be a part of. Um, I may have personally, okay, if you're just wondering, I'm just like shaking this up. The quote unquote, like not so nice comments and stuff like that are rare in comparison to maybe some that I've seen on maybe some other channels and stuff like that, you know, but I guess honestly for us, it's like, you know, we're just keeping it real. So what you see is what you get and I don't mind it, you know. So that's what you're kind of walking into here. Okay. Oh. Uh. It didn't work. But you know what, actually? I'm thinking that a design like this. Okay. Here's going to be my, my thoughts. I'm working one with so many little bits and pieces and stuff. I think actually for a design like this, the gapping is too far away. Um. So it makes it hard to pick up. And plus the size of this from edge to edge is the same as the size from this to edge to edge. So you really got to be precise about your pickup, which means that it kind of slows, might slow you down in the process. Um, so if I put it on my sticky stamper station, you can see like, yes, there will be a design that comes, comes out, but it will kind of be left to the imagination to kind of tell what exactly is, is it, astrological signs is it random doodles is it math i don't know so you know if if you're okay with that then that's completely cool um, but it probably wouldn't be my first choice after testing it out just because it there's a lot of um there's too many gaps in between and it doesn't really show um a lot of you know the really cool designs that you want to capture so we'll try it again though this this live isn't over I have a few ideas. But now that you guys can see exactly how the double processing stamp works, which is, you know, like this example, now I want to try a reverse stamp double processing. Whew. Okay. So let's let's try that. I'm going to pick up this design here. That's M108 for any of you who are curious, but I do not think that we have this uh, on our site anymore. <laughs> it makes me so sad. Because I really, really love this, this plate. Actually, I think this design that I'm picking up right now, I've used so many times. So many times. 
beautiful pickup, really straight lines. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and like color in a few of these little designs. Not gonna make it too intricate. Let's just go in with um, some Gobi U. Do I have, I do have coming in with a monocle to use as my little polish palette here. Aw, thanks. You know, it's one thing to have like encouragement or just like to, have, you know, positive thinking and stuff. But sometimes, you know, it just gets a little stressful. But thank you. I love the encouragement. And that's how you guys could, should look at it too, because I see over here in the polls. Let's see, we have a poll. It says, did you try last week's reverse double stamping or triple stamping? Okay, sorry, we're not going to tackle triple stamping, okay? Um, that, that's on dev. That is um, a little lemon lemon difficult for me. And um, yeah, we're, we're not going to do that. That's, that's Dev's bag right there. If, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> okay. But 21% of you said, I tried the reverse double stamping. 3% said, yes, I tried both techniques. And 76% of you said, nope haven't tried it yet what are you guys waiting for you guys are waiting to see how i do so all i'm doing is coloring in some of these crescent moons here Keeping it very simple, just kind of like what Deb mentioned last week. So I don't want to color in too much. Yeah, these are really, really small. Small details here. So there, that's what that looks like. Okay, let me clean my brush. Get all the cruddies off. Okay, let's wait because I don't wanna get all of that smudged. So let's just wait a little bit. In the meantime, I wanna find I wonder if it's tight enough to, I feel like an abstract image would probably be best. There's no reason for me to be like exactly precise too. Let's see. Maybe I'll try that one. I think it's a, uh, let's try it, let's give it a go. Okay, let's try, let's try the pink, cause why not? gosh okay let's see uh, uh, I'm trying to see if I can make it work can I make it work uh, I guess just not being quick enough I don't think there's a way for me to actually fix that because 
the polish in the background is what came off but you know actually for any of like our fans and stuff i don't know if you remember me doing um a reverse stamping video this was maybe like last month and um i had mentioned that there was a technique of reverse stamping that i could show you guys but i'm not going to talk about it because we have the um sticky base coat well doing this like picking up and stamping it on this way this is the other technique it's just you have to work on the timing as you can see so waiting too long um all of those kinds of things it probably would just be better to have the sticky the sticky base coat use it as like a fail safe to make sure that you're getting all the bits you need but in that case the pickup wasn't good so we'll try it again because i am bound and determined to get this right it's gonna piss me off if i don't <laughs> we'll just try a different design i'll try that one I don't think it was so much the design as maybe I, maybe it's the way that I'm using this particular stamper. So I'm trying to think, don't give up to you. Try it again. No, but I want to color in a different space because actually those were kind of really itty bitty. See, this is what happens when Virgos don't um, plan, when we're completely off the cuff. Yeah, I don't like being, like, indecisive like this. <laughs> but that's okay. It's the real, real. I know I'm sure I have um, some Virgos joining in today. So maybe you can relate. Maybe not. Give me some hearts. Okay, that's not going to look very nice, these. I'm just going to take those off. Actually, do I have? Okay. Let's see. Lisa, I am a Virgo, and I get it. Thank you. Sometimes it feels so lonely out here. Okay, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I am actually using the dotting tool to color in the little dots for daisies. I don't think it's the most accurate way to do this, but I decided to try it because everything is so circular. You see that? Looks like little egg yolks. Cute little egg yolks. Did I see we have a birthday? Happy birthday, Jamie. Hope it's an awesome birthday. I know for many of you, it's probably like late in the day already. So you probably celebrated your birthday. Hope it was a great one. I know I'm, I'm kind of probably not going to even use some of these flowers. Or maybe I can just stop right there. Actually, I think I, I am going to stop right there. Okay. Let that dry. Be patient, T. Be patient. And let's see if I can go ahead and pick something up properly. So much, I have so much confidence that I'm gonna pick up something properly that I'm gonna put these nail protect protectors on one of my fingers so I can stamp it onto my nail. Have any of you guys used these? You should. Okay. So what I'm doing is I've stretched it out to fit my nail shape here covering the skin and i am going to 
can't forget the top, especially if you have short nails. And there you go. My little fingernail cover. Haha, <laughs> we Virgos are not known for our patience. Can you say that louder on the bullhorn for the people in the back? Um, <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that's for sure. I'm sure my little five-year-old could probably agree with you as well. <laughs> but I'm like, oh, I want to move forward. So Melissa asked a question, and this is a good question. Question, can you do this method to cover an entire nail or are they just for French? No, you can do this method. Um, actually, the triple stamping concept that Dev did last week, um, she managed to stamp everything onto the nail. Um, I believe it was like a literally stamping three times. But say, for example, if you used this design here, this pretty much, like you can put your base, scrape, pick this up, af pick this up, like say, for instance, like here, pick everything up and then stamp it to the nail. That's how that would work. I'm like, oh, go, go, Tiana, do it. I'm like, oh, should I do it and show you guys? <laughs> ah, nerves, nerves, nerves. All the nerves. I'm trying to see, should I try? I'm just mixing some colors here, so don't worry about me. But this is kind of how you use this particular. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Will it work? There you go. It worked. Oh my gosh. Dev. <laughs> oh my gosh. It worked. Yeah. Now I really feel for Dev, you know, having to experience this on her own completely. <laughs> but yeah. So pretty much this is what that whole, we did a reverse stamping. Then we did a double process because I was picking up the already, you know, I already had the design here and picked up the background and I just stamped this whole design onto the nail. So here I'm going to go ahead and carefully take this off. Excuse the painting because, again, I'm just going to take this all off at the end. Okay, carefully remove that. And let me do a close up and see if there's any. Okay. That's because the sticker was kind of overlapping onto the nail, but. Okay. I'm going to do y'all a favor because the crusties is not looking cute. So I'm going a, I'm to a do something about that because that's, that's looking rough there. Okay. So I put some cuticle oil because, whoo. But if you did have polish on areas and stuff, you would just go ahead and clean that up. And there you go. You have your design. All you would do after this is get your smudge-free top coat and go ahead and top that. Uh, it worked. I feel so grown now. Yay! Yeah. Yay! Uh, 
I'm so happy. Okay, so now I'm gonna try it again. Let's try it again, because that was fun. Let's clean this off. So let's see what your comments. A dragonfly wing pattern for French. It's gonna be stunning. Dragonfly, where did you guys see a dragonfly design? You know what, actually, I did have a, I did have dragonfly, but I think the design is a little too, too, too big. For those of you who are a part of our Manny by Me, I was actually going to use this plate, but um, these designs are too spaced apart. So to use it for like a French design, is going to be a little bit too big. Um, this would look cute if it was just slightly tighter. You know, actually, I think um, plates that, you know, are designs that are tightly packed like this look really cute because, you know, you can kind of get a lot of design in one area. Here's another one, too. I was actually thinking, I was like, oh, like... Any of these really cute abstract images, like these little curly cues or whatever, that could be kind of cute. In using, say for instance, if you have like one of these abstract patterns. Here, actually, let's let's sample this out, shall we? Now I'm saying this more for double stamping. Like this, you could probably do some reverse stamping and color like the inside, but this would be really cute for process stamping designs like this. Mm. Okay, sorry, I'm just thinking, give me a moment. And now let's go in with this. Oop. Okay, I guess we're using that. <laughs> That's what it looks like. I'm trying to think. Like, should I try and stamp it onto the nail? Yeah, let's just stamp it just because. Let's see how that looks. Mm. Shoot. This little part flew back. I think I was a little overzealous there. And instead of like being cautious, I kind of just little fling it back there. Oh, did I salvage that? I did. Nice. Okay. Okay. And... Let's see, do I have a clean up brush here? I feel like I should. I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, the pencil stamper. And if you're not aware, this pencil stamper is really cool because it has like a little stamper here and it also comes with a clean up brush. So for those who are wondering about the whole cleanup process, we're gonna go ahead and melt off the excess here. Let's see. Let's go in a little tighter. Actually, you know what? I should have showed you guys this first. Especially when you have loose bits. This is good. If it's already stuck to the skin, it's kind of impossible, but the scotch tape trick 
helps to take off a lot of loose bits without having to melt it first. However, like say for instance, that's probably in the skin, acetone would probably be a better solution for taking that off. Ooh, that's real. Like <laughs> getting all the polish onto the fingers. If I was definitely being more careful, I don't think that would happen, but you know, this is, we're just being creative and being artsy today. So in the cracks and everything, I like to take my angled brush and get in there. That was kind of cool. You could see how the polish just kind of melted into the finger, like the fingernail. And there you go. So you just top coat that. Okay, so maybe I think for the background, I didn't choose like the best design because you need, but it's kind of cool how you can see just accents of like the curly cues inside of the, the swirl. What do you guys think? Meh, or nah, or love it. I would try it. Let me know. Okay. Let me go down to the comments here. <laughs> gloss, gloss Guild, embrace your inner Bob Ross. Yeah, definitely. This, well, you know, it's fun when it works out, and but when it doesn't, it gets really frustrating. So, you know, that's really cool to see this work out, the process. Gosh, I'm getting like super messy right now. If you guys ever wondered why I don't wear regular polish, this is the reason why. This is gel. I got to take that off. But it's because when we test products, that's another reason why we also use tips too is because with gel, it's because we're always testing things. So it just kind of works out a little easier for us too. I figure you guys can see. Okay, I have two more nails. Let's see if I can do something else. Because I think, what do you guys think? Give me, give me some hearts. Did I do the reverse double process stamping today? Did I conquer Devin's technique. What do you guys think? I think it did pretty good. That turned out pretty darn good. Okay. So I personally really loved um, the cow print design. So I want to do a sample of that. That was really cute. You know, I'm going to use this this bottom part instead of the top. The top look nice, but so there. Now I'm gonna go in with let's see. Then we'll go in with this plate for O three. And now my nails are super short, so we're gonna try and keep it simple. I got grateful hair. Oh, thanks guys. I think I think we we managed to, to do it today. Now I'm just showing off. Playing around and showing off. This part didn't quite make the the cut, but let's see. That is not, that's, yeah, that's not it. That did not work out. See, when I say sh showing off, now it doesn't want to work. <laughs> okay. 
No, but we're going to try it again. So let's pick, oh, no, I did white. And that's scrape. Let's pick that up. Okay, a lot of spots. Now let's do this next part. Let's see what happens. You know what, let's see. Because actually it might be a benefit to the fact that, I don't know, let's see. I actually don't need much for my particular nail. do some cleanup I'm going with okay now where is my clean up brush let's put some acetone on here And before we go and show all of that off, I'm gonna put some cuticle oil because that's looking pretty rough. Hi, Brandy. Okay. So there. That actually turned out really cute as like a French tip. Kind of matches perfectly. Yeah, there's a little bit that didn't come off, but let me see. If I take like my little detail brush here, I'll put a little bit of that polish. Let's see if I can maybe, ooh, this is, can I fix that? Should have been white, but putting the background color would probably be a little easier than having to paint the white. That's not bad for a fixed job. And then top coating that. very very good okay this this polish is like bugging i'm gonna clean this stuff up <laughs> this is looking pretty crazy try not to get that on my okay on the polish because that would just come off Okay, I got one more nail. Let's just try something. Tori, yeah, I agree. No, well, nobody should get that close. So, but once I top coat that, it'll be grand. Okay, let's see. 
what should I do for my final look here? Uh, let's do something fun. Sorry, I'm just thinking out loud. I think I want to try another design. What do you guys think? These scribbles is kind of fun. Let me, maybe I should try that. I don't know about you guys. Are any of you doodlers? There was something I used to doodle. I mean, do a lot as a kid. But honestly, that kind of translates to me in adulthood as well. I still like to doodle. How fun is that? And this is a really t tightly packed design. Okay. Let's do... Hmm. Kind of want to do blue again. We got some doodlers up in here. Okay. Let's see how that works. Try and keep it kind of close to the cuticle line so I don't have too much clean up. <laughs> how fun. Let's go with our scotch tape and clean some of that off. I got clean scotch tape. This technique works best when it hasn't been sitting on your skin for very long. Once the polish hasn't been sitting on the skin. Once it kind of settles there, this technique doesn't really work. So make it as tight as possible to the skin and take it off, kind of rip it, like uh, if you're waxing or something. Okay. Let me see. Okay, I think we're good. The rest I'm just going to have to clean off. When using black, I like to keep the acetone as um, kind of wet, but not too wet as possible and keep my, my brush clean. So you'll notice that actually every time that the brush is out of the frame of the video, I, um, I'm basically adding more acetone or cleaning the brush because if the brush has a lot of black polish, all it's doing is spreading the black polish and you don't want to do that. That's how the polish kind of gets stuck in all the cracks and crevices. And if you have um, dry skin too, it makes it even harder for it to kind of come off. So you want to use it as like an eraser instead of smudging it all over the place. You don't want it dripping, you just want it wet enough that the bristles are wet to get in. Yeah, 
I got cuticle oil here. And yeah, I think this kind of wraps up today's live. What do you think? Wow, this is, that's so cool. I'm so glad this worked out so I could show you guys. And I'm just so proud of myself that it worked. Deb, I can do it. Aren't you proud of me? But we did some really fun, cute designs, got a little creative. Some things didn't work. Some things did work. Actually, I didn't even stop. Instead of stamping on my tips, I stamped on myself. So you guys got an added bonus there to see it actually on my fingertips. So, um, yeah. Hope you guys had fun today. This was fun. It was fun because it worked. So thank you, everyone, for the encouragement. That's so awesome. I thought it was going to be a complete flop for me today, but I'm so glad that it worked and I did nail it. Um, but I really appreciate having all of you guys here. This was really awesome. So now I think the poll should say how many of you are going to go ahead and try this technique. Seriously, if I can do it, y'all can do it. Um, yeah. Just try and see what you can do. Oh, the... I know, actually, I like looking at the towel art here that shows how creative we were today. So I hope you guys really enjoyed today's live. I think that's going to sign it off for now. Let me see if there's any questions that I can go ahead and tap into while I'm here. You guys have a lot of uh, really good encouragement, too. So thank you so much for that. Um... Let's see, what about using 304 for the double stamping? Is that a plate that I have here? Let me look. Three oh four. I don't, I don't know if I have that plate actually. So let me see really quick since that's the question I saw. What plate is that? Oh, yes. You know, that's so funny that this question came up because so for any of you who know, um, plate M304 is our Boogie French plate, which uh, came out a few Halloweens ago. And um, this would actually be a really cute plate to uh, do little cloud um, French. I, now that I'm looking at this, I had intentions of trying that plate with you guys, but I actually don't have the plate in front of me. Sorry. But yes, that plate most definitely would uh, will work. Okay. So I, let's see... Um, maybe if we do another, another one of these, uh, lives again, we could kind of show that, but we have some really cool things coming up for you guys in the future. So, um, I hope you guys really enjoyed today's live. If you're new here, please go ahead and subscribe. Um, and yeah. And also I know we're going to be coming to St. Patty's day for any of you who missed out on our sale bummer bummer but we still have some really cute st patty's plates and stuff like that so go check it on the site www.maniology.com i hope you guys really enjoyed today's live and um, stay creative and be kind people have a nice day and we will see you guys in next week's live take care bye